So the book uh, Fewer, Bigger, Bolder was, uh, came out of the realization that as we, my co-author and I, from very different perspectives, he was in packaged goods, he was a practitioner, I worked with technology companies and I was an academic, but we observed the same phenomenon and that is that companies pursue growth in every direction. And uh, you know, as, as one of the CEOs we talked to said, I never met a revenue dollar that I didn't like. Um, and in this process of undisciplined pursuit of growth, they end up becoming too complex, too unwieldy and spreading themselves too thin. And yet, every incremental move they make seems logical. You know, you want more products, you want more customers, you want more markets, but when you add it all up, uh, you end up with complexity and you end up with city. So there's this very interesting idea that you know, growth is like cholesterol. There's good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. So mm -hmm. it's not all growth is good. There is a concept of what we call toxic growth. So what's an example of toxic growth? You acquire a company that brings in, you know, a little bit more revenue, but adds a lot more complexity to your operations and is not very profitable and it's a big headache and requires a lot of management's time or a marginal product that you launch that, or you get into businesses or, in, or markets where you don't have expertise. So the thesis of the book really is using a disciplined approach to growth. That's what we call the book from mindless expansion to focused growth. Uh, and in, in that process, narrowing down your bets, you know, making fewer bets, but focusing where you can win and then executing like hell against those priority and then distorting resources against fewer priority. Okay. So that's the essence of why we call the book fewer, bigger, and bolder.